Hi, Hiram here. About a month or so ago, I saw a video put out by John over at Flat Cat Gear where he's playing with a what he calls a focusing ring on a uh, folding titanium stove. This is the folding ring. Now he's playing with this on an on an SBIT folding stove. I have a wet fire, which I think they're the same stove, just a difference in name. Uh, the idea behind a folding or the focusing ring rather is that the air will be get sucked up from underneath and brought past the uh, aspid cube. Now he made them out of a 6 ounce 170 gram tomato paste can. Once you're done with these things you clean them out. I use a uh, side cutter so that it gives a nice clean edge on the top and basically you just take now he cut them at uh, 0.8 inches. I just cut it to where it hit the corrugated metal, so they're a little bit, they're just a hair different from each other. But you just take a can like that and cut off the top and the bottom. These would be the focusing rings, and this is just either garbage or use it for whatever you want. So I didn't paint this, I'm just going to give it a try first, but it goes on there like so. So what I'm going to do today is a test without the ring, the focusing ring, to get myself a time on the espit with the water. He used four cups. I'm going to use two. And then the second test will be with the focusing ring. So let me get my water prepped, and I'll be right back for the test. Okay, I've got two cups of water sitting at 60 degrees. Let me light the aspid cube. There we go. Two cups at 60 degrees. And let's see where that goes. We're now two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 115 degrees, 116 degrees now Fahrenheit. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention was I weighed the two cubes that I'm using in this test. This this cube that I'm using weighs, uh, where did I put it, 14.5 grams or 0.51 ounces or the second one is 14.6 uh, grams or 0.51 ounces. Not that I think that, as far as I'm concerned, they're just about the same weight. So let's see where this goes from here. There we have 210. 211. Come on. To 12 and 7 minutes 54 seconds. Okay, that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Room temperature 72 degrees, humidity 61%. It's cloudy and drizzly outside. Came to a boil in 7 minutes 54 seconds. Let's see how long it takes for run out now. Okay, the flame's still going. That's 1422. Flame's still going, but the temperature's dropped down to 210, so even though the flame is still on there, once it's dropped to 210, I figured all it's doing now is simmering. So, that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a boil in 7 minutes 54 seconds. It's still just slightly burning, but as you can see, the temperature's dropping. So I'm going to call it a run out at 14 minutes, 22 seconds. Okay, let's see what this pot looks like. Dump out the water. Time for me to get new gloves. As you can see, there's soot, but you always do with Espit. So. Let me get this stuff cooled off. I'll get my water prepped and I'll be back for the second test. This time using the focusing ring. So I'll be right back. Okay, my water's all set for the second test. Let me light the aspid cube. Okay, that's lit. I'll put the focusing ring on. Just like so. So, two cups of water here. 
setting at 60 degrees. Now a couple of things that I didn't say before. The weight of the ring, let me turn the light back on. The weight of the focusing ring is about 5.7 grams or about 0.2 ounces. So it's not that much. It's just that you're going to have to come up with something to put all of this in so you don't squash the ring. If this works anyway. So, I don't know, without any further ado, let's see what happens with the test. We're now at two minutes into the test. The temperature is up to 109 degrees Fahrenheit. A little bit less than last time. Uh, I think it was 115 at the two minute mark. The flames, I think if you can see this, the flames look a little more focused. Like it's not quite as spread out at the base than when it didn't have the uh, focusing ring on. So I just kind of used the terms. But uh, let's see where it goes from here. There we have 210. 211. Come on. 212 at 746. Okay, that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Came to a full boil in 4 minutes 46 seconds using the focusing ring. When I did it without the focusing ring, it took 7 minutes 54 seconds. So what I'll do now is let this go to run out. When the temperature drops back down to 210, that's the time that I'll take it for run out. So let's see where it goes from here. And there we're at 210, let's say 1312. Okay. A little bit of difference there. Not sure how to take this. Uh, two cups of water using the focus ring. Two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 7 minutes 46 seconds. That's 8 seconds faster than without the ring. But uh, it ran out, what I call running out, when it gets down to 210 degrees. That was in 13 minutes 12 seconds. Without the ring it took 14 minutes 22 seconds. So that's like a whole mi almost a minute shorter. Let's see what it looks like. Wow. Really sooty underneath this time. All right. Well, maybe about the same. So, like I said, I don't know what to make of this. It might be useful for a mini windscreen, but I could do more tests, but I think that's just wasting us. But I, sorry, John, I, I don't know the benefit or not benefit of this thing. One thing, though, uh, John painted his, painted it black. It looked like I didn't paint this. I don't know if you can see it on the inside, but the uh, how do I show this? There you go. See the lining here? It's peeling off the can. It's burning off. So maybe if you painted it, that would help. One thing I wondered about, if it was sucking heat out of the flame, but when I did a infrared on the focusing ring, I only got 168 degrees Fahrenheit. So it wasn't really terribly hot. So... I just really don't know. I'm, I'm curious to see what other people have found with this using this. Like I said, this might be handy as a mini windscreen to block the breeze from hitting the espit cube and knocking the flame all around. It did seem to focus the flame some, but I didn't see any great benefit in time or anything. So, sorry, what can I say? I'll leave a link down below so where you can go to John's video of this. Now he did it with four cups. Maybe that's the big difference. I only did it with two cups. 
because that's what my tests usually are for. But I thank John for sharing these ideas with us. I thank you for watching my video, uh, videos. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.